happening more and more with these old Volkswagens. Um, and those of you guys who still have points in your distributor. Um, so anyway, um, the one thing that keeps on happening with these is a lot of times the condenser goes bad. So what... Um, if you're on the road or something and you start to feel your car start to sputter and it starts to slow down and you have a points distributor and you're going hey every once in a while it's just kind of shutting off you're driving it and it just kind of does this um, you're going to want to check your condenser and there's a way to do it with an ohm meter but um, I don't you know not of us not all of us carry an ohm meter with us we're on the road so here's how you test it take out your coil wire it takes two people to do um, take out your coil wire and hold your spark somewhere to ground hold it about uh, maybe about an eighth of an inch away um, you want to check your spark and see what color it is and now this is an old old school way to check this if your spark is blue um, then you have a good spark and typically your condenser is probably okay and this is just kind of a rule of thumb to check your points and your condenser um, and a lot of times you'll find if your condenser is going bad you'll find the film a white film on your points that's another thing to look for um, and uh, if your spark is yellow then that's a weak spark and that's telling you probably that your condenser is going bad I mean could be the coil it could be other things but um, typically lately it's been condensers now you might say well where do I get a good condenser well you don't so that's the problem uh, the condensers are really bad and they become really unreliable so the old German ones actually had a stamped number in them they look different than the other ones they have now um, and typically uh, and usually I think they have the green wire on all the ones that are the new ones and they you know the the new ones just don't last and the wire is really thin compared to the old ones that I used to get a long time ago I had like a thicker shield on the wire maybe it was a larger wire so what I've been doing is I just came back from Carcraft in Riverside if you guys are you know buying parts online you need to know a place to buy parts um, Carcraft in Riverside is really good um, with parts and pricing you know and if you're in Riverside you know if you guys are probably gone there and know who they are or maybe you're in the high desert you drive down to Riverside to Carcraft to get parts and they have you know pretty good knowledge that goes along with the parts so um, for a while, the MP distributors um, were crappy, and they've redesigned the MP distrib distributor to be more reliable. Now, some guys will say CompuFire is better. Some guys will say uh, there's a bunch of different distributors. Um, but, you know, um, I can't tell you which one's the best, okay? That's just something you're going to have to guess on. But they have these empty distributors that aren't too bad now. The newest style, the upgraded uh, uh, electrode inside. Um, and they said they haven't had too many of them come back. In fact, they haven't had any of these new ones come back. So um, where the other ones, uh, it was they just stopped selling them because they were just so inferior. So, um, But it is a little bit of a crapshoot with, uh, with Chinese parts. Um, but then again, you know, you're at a crapshoot with your condenser. It says Bosch on it. It's made in China. So this is just to like kind of help you guys um, figure out what's going on with your distributor. What I'm doing now is, and I haven't had really too many problems since I've been doing it, is I'm changing to these um, electronic distributors. All it is is pointless. It's a pointless distributor. It's not fully electronic, you know. It just um, doesn't have points anymore. So, and all you do is you just connect up, you got a black wire and a red wire. Make sure you don't hook it up backwards, <laughs> okay? If you hook it up backwards and you go, hey, man, my distributor is no good. Hey, that's why. You just, you fried it. You took it up backwards and it's over. 
So you need to know which side of your distributor, which side of your coil is the positive side. So you hook up the pot, the red wire that's here to the positive side of your coil, and the negative side that was going to your points, which is the negative side. The, the positive side comes from the ignition, and the negative side goes to your old uh, points. So you hook up the black wire to where the points would normally hook up and the red wire to the other side of the coil. And again, if you hook it up backwards, don't go tend the distributor back and saying, hey, you guys sent me a bad distributor. You jacked it up. Step up to the plate. Buy another one. I've done it myself. Okay, I've hooked them up backwards. I'll be honest. And guess what? I went and spent the whatever it was, 80 bucks again, bought myself another distributor because it was my fault. Don't blame the car places for that. So anyway, that is the best fix for points. You know, if you want to keep changing your points and keep changing your condenser and have a crap shoot and break down the road and have the point, the condenser go bad. The condenser, you know, the points, you know, you can file them down or whatever. But when that condenser goes out, you're not going to go somewhere real quick and grab one. They just don't have them anywhere anymore. So, you know, neither do they have these distributors sitting anywhere. So it's like, well... <laughs> Uh, uh, I this is probably more reliable and the other thing that it does is if you have um, a cool running engine um, I believe that these do not have a, a number three cylinder that's retarded so typically the point the the distributor in your Volkswagen the uh, the cam on it has a flatter cam for the number three cylinder that's why it's important the distributors dropped in the proper position because that cam lobe that for the number three is a little bit flatter and it retards that that timing on that cylinder so that it um helps make that the other cylinders work harder it doesn't make that cylinder run cooler because it's um uh because it's uh, uh retarded it actually makes the other cylinders work a little bit harder than that cylinder so that that cylinder doesn't get as hot. <laughs> so that's how Volkswagen engineered the distributor. But, um, you know, these ones don't have that option. But, you know, so if you have a doghouse fan shroud, you really don't need that. This one doesn't have a doghouse, but I'm not really worried about that little bit of retardation. And I just watch my engine temperature, you know, by feel. Um, and... Uh, keep the engine running you know I don't blast down the road at high speeds in this van so anyway that's just a couple of pointers there for points and and uh, something for your uh, how to check your condenser because some of you guys might be on the road and have this happening right now talk to you in the next video